Hey, what's up guys and welcome to Ten Tennis Channel. And in the last video, I already did a recap of the best five tennis rackets of 2023. If you haven't watched it, follow the link above. So in this video, I will talk to you about the future, about the new rackets that will launch in 2024, so that you can have some ideas of what you could expect to see and if you want to wait for them or not. Just a bit of a disclaimer, the information in this video will be based on my insights, uh, the leaked photos on the internet, and rumors. So take it with a grain of salt. Okay, from what I know, in the beginning of next year, between January and February, around the time of the Australian Open, it is going to be a war in the tennis market because the major brands like Wilson, Head, and Babolat will launch its new rackets at the same time. Basically, you can expect to see the brand new blade, uh, the pure strike, and the speed. But before we jump into the detail, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will really help the channel growing. Okay, for Wilson, I think you guys already know that there's going to be the new blade coming and this is version 9 and there are some leaked photos and videos on this thing on the internet already. I think they already sent them to limited people with access and to probably athletes. So here's what it looked like. For me, I think it does look like the blade newer, except that it comes in different color. Uh, there's also a theory on the internet that the Blade Noir is actually the same as the Blade V9 because if you play with it and compare the Noir to the normal shifting green version you could feel that the Noir is stiffer than the normal version and some people say that Wilson wants to make the V9 to be stiffer than the V8 and make it a little bit more like head heavy to tick up the swing weight because a lot of people say that the V8 swing weight is too low, like we are looking at sub 320 swing weight, which is uh, lower than the V7 and the previous versions of the blade. Although it can be easier adjust by adding lead at 12, probably like just 2 gram and it works. But uh, for the majority of players, they don't do that. They prefer to play in stock form. So I think it would make sense if they could bring the swing weight up to around like 325 plus or minus on the V9 but from my experience I could say that you cannot expect anything from Wilson quality control it's like a lottery if you are unlucky you could get something way off like 310 or like more than 330 okay and between the Australian Open and the French Open time around like March or April Wilson could probably launch the Roland Garros paint job of the Blade V9, the Clash and the Shift. And I expect that they will be gorgeous and it could be uh, the best sellers. And then for head, I think it's pretty obvious that they are releasing the new head speed line with the Oxidated 2.0. Basically they add the Oxidated to the throat uh, at the area around here and in the handle to make it more connected to the ball when hitting. I expect the new version to be more like muted and better than the current version especially on the Speed Pro that could become more user friendly. And this is what the new Speed actually looks like. Uh, there is some like photos on the Junior Rackets out so I think it will look exactly like this. For the spec, I know that they have five specs in total. Uh, the MP and the Pro are exactly the same. And then we got the MPL that is a bit heavier on the static weight, but more head light than the current version. We got Speed Team with a 105 square inches and then a Speed PWR with 115 square inches. And later in the year, head will release a limited edition of the head speed with a glossy blackout paint job. I saw Ashley from the Tennis Mentor uses it in his reel and I was like, I'm so gonna buy it. I'm a sucker for blackout rackets. 
and glossy paint job are you kidding me just take my money bro well what i'm considering right now is whether to get the mp or the pro because the new speed pro is really good it's a significant improvement from the current version that i cannot play at all so the speed is a second racket line from head that is remake in oxidic 2.0 after the prestige 2024 and after that you could expect a new head boom oxidic 2.0 i'm not sure when it will come out but probably in the second quarter it will have five specs as well and this time they will have two colors one in the min and black and another one in the min and white but the min and white will be available from the MP specs down to the lighter ones. It's not available for the Pro. I think uh, the min and white one could be the best seller for women. And later in the year, Head will release the new Extreme line. I cannot find the leaked photos yet, but I heard that it will be in a lemon lime color. Okay, for the bubble lad. Uh, they will release the new Peel Strike 2024 in the first quarter. There is a photo of Holger Rune play testing it already. And there are rumors that Rune is considering switching from his Peel Arrow 98 or the Peel Arrow VS, not sure which one he's using now, to the new Peel Strike 97. Uh, the paint job looks pretty good, although not so different from the current version, but I think it looks cleaner. Uh, the new PO Strike will have 5 specs in total. Um, you will have a 97 with 1620 string pattern. Uh, this one formerly known as the PO Strike VS. And the 98 with a 1619 string pattern and 305 gram. There will be two of the 100 square inches. One with the 1619 and 300 gram. And another one with 1620 and 305 gram. And the last one is a Peel Strike team, which is a lighter spec. I think what changes in this new Peel Strike is that Bubble Lad uh, will bring down the stiffness to make the racket more arm friendly. It could feel more like a blade, but it could remain powerful and spin friendly. I think it's really interesting. Okay, and the last one, let's go over your next. Basically, there is no rumors around what Yonex will release in 2024 because they just launched the new v 2023 and the new Perset. So, the only one left is the E-Zone, which is just came out in 2022. Well, the E-Zone previously has two years of its life cycle, but this time, I think it's more likely that Yonex could extend its life cycle to three years. I heard that Yonex will release the new Eason this year, but it's just a new paint job, not a makeover. There are some photos from Japan with this black and gray paint job. I'm not sure if this is the one or it's just a limited edition that sells only in Japan. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let me know in the comments which racket that you are looking forward to the most. And I'll see you in the next video.